Faithful and strong, sharing kindness, it's an easy feat, and magic makes it all complete, you have mine, do you know you are my very best friends? <laughs> Morning, Daisy Joe. You here to pick up some cookies to go with your milk? Pinky, don't you know? Well, Mrs. Cake just baked a fresh batch of your favorite oatmeal. Ooh, sounds delightful. Oh, Rose, your calla lilies look even better than last year. I bet you'll take first prize at the flower show again. Thanks, Pinky. Would you like one? Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, shucks, Miss Pinky. You flatterer, you. Well, happy birthday, Cheerilee. Thank you, Pinky. Happy day after your birthday, Sakura. What a lovely hi, Miss Pinky Pie. And Miss Matilda, happy birthday to you. In 132 days. Pinky Pie, how do you remember everything about every pony? Because every pony's my friend, and I love to see my friends.
smarter than you look. Thanks! I'm Pinkie Pie. What's your name? Property of CDD. I'm guessing that last D is for donkey. Quick as a whip, kid. Now how about that C? Hmm. Calvin, Calhoun, Caleb, Carl, Carmine, Carlo, Charlie, Chester, Chico, Claudio, Cletus, Clipper, Conrad, Cornelius, Cortez, Craig, Principal, Cl Cranky! It's Cranky, all right! And your middle name? Uh, no. I'm sorry? No. Ooh, one more time. Uh, doodle. <gasps> so you're a Cranky Doodle Donkey? You're a Cranky Doodle Donkey guy, a Cranky Doodle Donkey. I've never met you, but you're my new friend, and I'm your best friend, Pinkie Pie. Come on now, Doodle, give us a smile. Nope, he calls me Doodle. What just happened? Meet some pony new. Check. Introduce myself. Check. Sing random song out of nowhere. Check. Become instant best friends. Uncheck. I don't get it. How can some pony not become instant best friends with me? Was it something I said? Was it something I sang? This is no time for the blame game, Pinky. There's some pony new in town, and you need to win him over. Try everything you can to make Cranky smile and be your friend. All right, Pinky. If you're gonna win Cranky's friendship, you're gonna have to bring your A game. Let's do this. Howdy doody, Cranky Doodle. So, uh, are you moving to Ponyville, Cranky? What gave you the hint there, kid? A cart full of stuff, maybe? Well, I'd be happy to show you around. It's the least a new friend can do. Listen, kid. I traveled around Equestria my entire life. I've made many friends. I don't need any more. Gosh, I could never have too many friends. Well, why don't you go and make some more? But I don't need to go when I can stay and make friends with you. Look, kid. You... Oh, Cranky, you can call me Pinky. All of my friends do. Look, kid. I came to Ponyville for some peace and quiet and privacy. To be alone with my memories. All I want is to get to my new home and unpack my stuff. Ooh, what does this bobble do? Don't touch that! Ah, what's this? <laughs> Don't! Oh, look at these! Hey, hey. Keep your hooves off my wagon! Okay, Cranky. <gasps> I promise not to hit your wagon because I got one of my own! I use it to welcome folks! Who'd have guessed? Maybe we can be wagon buddies! Well, you gotta at least let me give you the special welcome that comes with it. <sighs> Let's get this over with. That's the spirit! <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? 
have had enough! <gasps> You're losing him, Pinky. Wait, Cranky, please! Let me make it up to you! No! Please! <laughs> Ladies, this is a spa emergency. Cranky needs help. Stat! The spa treatment was gift enough. It's not going to explode or anything, promise. Just open it. It's a new toupee. I had my friend Rarity make it. She calls it the Dream Boat Special. This is wonderful. Thanks, kid. He's starting to warm up, but still no smile. Hmm. What you doing there, old buddy, old pal? What's it look like? Looks like a yard sale. I'll give you two bits for this. <laughs> I'm not selling, kid. I'm unpacking. Well, why didn't you say so? I thought I had. This is so pretty. Where'd you get it? Manhattan. Now put it down. Gently. Really? What were you doing there? Trying to find a friend. Trying to find friends, and today I found you. See how good I am at it? This was a special friend. Like me? No, you're extra special, kid. Yes, I'm in. Wow, where in Equestria did you get this, Cranky? Philadelphia. It's awfully pretty. Yes, yeah, she was. Huh? I mean, it was. I mean, it is. Yes, it's pretty. Now put it down. I wonder where Cranky got this. Huh, will you look at that? Hey, Cranky, can I ask you about... Oh, no. What did you say? Yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay! Yeah. What have you done? There! Uh, all better? No, not all better. All soggy! I'm sorry, Cranky. Oh, you're sorry. Well, then everything is fine. It is? No, it isn't. Listen to me, kid. I will never be your friend. Never or never ever? Never, ever, 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 ever. That's four evers. That's like forever. I just can't believe it. Cranky said he would never, forever be my friend. It was horrible. I know this is hard for you, Pinky, seeing that you're friends with every pony, but you just have to accept that Cranky is going to be an exception. He just doesn't want to be bothered. Yeah, he doesn't want to be bothered by your over the top, super hyper antics. Rainbow! No, no. It's okay, Twilight. I get what you're saying, what you're both saying, and I guess I can leave Cranky alone. Right after he accepts my apology. No, no, leave me alone. Wait, I understand that you don't want me as a friend. No, I don't. So I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Fine, you said it. But do you accept my apology? No.
There's nothing you can do. You ruined my book. You destroyed all I have to remember her by. Her? Her who? The special friend? Go away, Pinky! accept my apology, but before I leave you alone forever, I have something to at least try to make up for ruining your book. No, I don't want it, kid. Anything you would give me is sure to lead to some sort of disaster. Goodness, you really are cranky. It can, and it is. Matilda, but how? Pinky. But I never told you about her. You didn't have to. I put two and two and two together, and it added up to Matilda. What? Well, when you were talking about your souvenirs, you said something about trying to find a special friend. And you know, I wasn't just born yesterday. Nuh-uh, my birthday isn't for another 75 days. Huh? And then, in your scrapbook, there was a flower, an old ticket, and a menu from the Grand Gallop Gala. And I knew I recognized all these things. But how could you have ever seen them before? Because I also have them in my scrapbook. And I'd seen them in Matilda's book! Oh, Matilda. The night we met at the gala was the most magical night of my life. I couldn't wait to see you again. But when I came to your room the next day, you were gone. Didn't you get my note? No, I never got it. And ever since that day, I've gone from town to town to town, searching all over Equestria for you, until finally I gave up. I came to Ponyville to retire from my search. I was living in Ponyville the whole time. I always hoped that someday you would come and find me. Doodle. Uh, Matilda? No pony calls him Doodle. No pony, but Matilda. Mm. <laughs> oh. Oh, Doodle. I am so happy to see you. <laughs> Yes, Pinky, I accept your apology, and I am honored to call you my friend. Hyper. Pinky, we're eternally grateful to you, but uh, Matilda and I just want to spend some time together in peace and quiet. Oh, um, but we're still friends? Pinky, you went way, way, way out of your way to make me happy. Of course we're friends. Great! Dear Princess Celestia, there are many different kinds of friends and many ways to express friendship. Some friends like to run and laugh and play together, but others just like to be left alone, and that's fine too. But the best thing about friendship is being able to make your friends smile. He had a cranky doodle sweetheart, she's his cranky doodle joy. I have the cranky doodle boy, yes, I have the cranky doodle boy. Pinky! Whoops, privacy. 